Uh, some of my climbing competitors were pissed off, and they, they threatened to cut their own legs off to compete, which is kind of fun. <laughs> so, what do you see in this photograph? I show this again, I showed it in the beginning. Am I broken or am I whole? What do you see? Do you see it crippled or do you see the future of athletics? Do you see weakness or the potential for a transcendent human? I think you know what I see. Because of today's inadequate technology, so many uh, disabilities here, so many conditions here result in disability. But we can conquer disability through technological innovation. I have to have, I happen to have the minor defect of that my legs are amputated. It's really no big deal. It would be a big deal if I didn't have these bionic limbs. With these bionic limbs, I can do all kinds of things, run, play tennis, uh, etc. So we are going to ad ad advance this extraordinary technological and scientific foundation that will ultimately eliminate all disabilities in this century. And that very foundation will also enable human augmentation, extending human capability beyond innate uh, capabilities or measures. So future technologies will augment the power of the mind, augment physicality, sensory experience, emotional acuity. Um, indeed, Binex offers tremendous potential for humanity, but not without risk. As a society, we must develop policy at, uh, at a rate commensurate with this ever-expanding augmentation technology. Yes, to incentivize further development, but also to mitigate unintended consequences. It's, it doesn't take much of an imagination to imagine a future where parents are designing their future offspring, where governments are controlling the mood of their citizens and many other brave new world scenarios. So we the people have in our collective authority to end disability in this century, to eliminate so, such profound suffering. But at the same time, we need to adhere with absolute obedience to what we hold so dear, human diversity, and human individual freedoms. Thank you. Thank you very much.